so hello guys and welcome back once again so we are back today with the allen pre score questions from the next paper so guys i'm really sorry because my videos have been a bit late as i am working on something else for you guys anyways starting off guys this is the first question for today where we have to find out tan 9 degrees so i guess this will be a pretty simple one because tan 9 degrees is nothing but your sin 9 degrees by cos 9 degrees so basically this is nothing but your like sin 9 degrees by cos 9 degrees right so let's do one thing i am converting this to 2 sin square 9 degree that is i am multiplying 2 sin 9 degrees on both numerator and denominator so actually your denominator in this case will become sin 2 theta that is sin 18 degrees okay and now we can write 2 sin square 9 as 1 minus cos 18 degrees whole divided by sin 18 degrees and 18 degrees is something for which like it's a standard angle for which we have learned the values of cosine and sine so basically this is nothing but your 1 minus and i hope you all remember these values this value is nothing but root 10 plus 2 root 5 and this is whole divided by 4 and this sin 18 will be i guess root 5 minus 1 by 4 so guys, if you do a little bit of manipulation, I guess this will come out to be 1 minus of root under root 5 into root 5 plus 1. And this will be whole divided by, I guess, 8. Okay, a few steps I have jumped, just do the calculation. And this will be whole multiplied by your root 5 plus 1. Okay. So guys, in our question actually, k was given to be root 5 plus 1. This was mentioned as k. And we have to find out this value, which was given as m. So m is actually equal to 8. Okay. This is I like, I would not, I would actually rank this as a very, very easy question because cos 18 and sin 18 are standard values that you should remember. And you should obviously remember like you remember your 30s and 60s. Okay. Pretty easy question. Anyways, let's move on to the next question from this paper. Okay, so guys, next on we have this question once again, like this paper has a lot of trigonometry questions, but that's okay. This question is a good one, I guess. So proceeding, first, like if we evaluate this series, like not evaluate, actually, if we expand this series a little bit, this will be 1 by 1 plus cot power 4, 10. Next, we will have 1 by 1 plus cot power 4, 20. Next, we will have 1 by 1 plus cot power 4 30 and it will go on till 1 by 1 plus cot power 4 160 plus 1 by 1 plus of your cot power 4 170 okay so guys like i hope you can see one very interesting thing that actually if you observe terms are repeating okay in the denominators the cot terms are repeating because i guess all of you will know that like cot power 170 this thing would actually become cot power 410 okay my motive of saying is that if you actually use the angles thing then this will come out to be two times of 1 by 1 plus cot power 410 and this will go on till like where it goes on is also important okay many people will confuse here actually there will be a term in the middle which is cot power 490 but cot power 490 will not repeat it will remain same okay so actually this will be going up till your 1 by 1 plus cot power 480 inside the bracket two times and one time only you will have 1 by 1 plus cot power 490. Okay. Okay. So next on what we are going to do is now I will try I guess we can try to convert this into tan because already this thing is coming out to be 1 right cot 90 which is 0. So, if we want to convert this, maybe this will become 1 by 1 plus cot power 4, 10. This bracket is not needed. Plus 1 by 1 plus cot power 4, 20. And if I try to write this like 1 by 1, okay, tan power 4, 10. And outside we have, I guess, plus 1, right? Okay, let's do one thing. Let's pair this up. I guess we will have all the identical pairs together. So basically this will become 1 by 1 plus cot power 4 10 plus of 1 by 1 plus tan power 4 10 
and next on we will have plus of 1 by 1 plus cot power 420 plus 1 by 1 plus tan power 420 and I guess this will go up till your 1 by 1 plus I guess all the terms are getting paired up this is cot power 440 and we will have tan power 440 also right okay this stays within the 2 multiplied and outside we will obviously have a plus 1 okay so guys after this I guess what we can do is I will manipulate only one bracket wait I guess if we manipulate one bracket all the others will be also in the same fashion let's do one thing I am writing this as 1 by 1 plus of cot power 4 10 and I am converting this tan power 4 into cot power 4 okay so basically what you will have is cot power 4 10 by 1 plus cot power 4 10 okay so when you add this up this actually comes out to be equal to 1 right so guys that means what will happen is this will be 2 times 10 20 30 40 so 4 angles that means 1 into 4 plus of 1 which means 2 into 8 2 into 4 8 plus 1 and so your final answer for this question will be 9 okay like I would not say this question is good but uh, what do I say okay it's an okayish question okay like different properties have been used so maybe you could be bluffed even J advance gave a similar type of question this year so yeah let's proceed to the next question okay so guys here is our next question so I hope this will be pretty easy to solve first thing what we will do is secant is there so we will convert this into cosine so basically 1 by cosine pi by 4 plus x plus 1 by cosine pi by 4 minus x is equal to 2 root 2 so if we like manipulate this a bit this will be root 2 by cos x minus sin x first thing this will be plus of root 2 by cos x plus sin x I hope you can understand how and this thing is equal to 2 root 2 so guys if we take the uh, LCM and do this uh, like addition of these two fractions first thing is root 2 will get cancelled from all and everywhere and second thing is when we add these two cos, cos x minus sin x plus cos x plus sin x so basically 2 cos x and that 2 and this 2 will get cancelled so basically what you will have is cos x by cos square x minus sin square x is equal to 1 okay or in other words I can say like we can I guess form a quadratic also if I take this sin square x as 1 minus cos square x I guess this is coming out to be 2 cos square x minus cos x minus 1 is equal to 0 this is the quadratic that is coming out so basically this is very a very simple quadratic 2x square minus x minus 1 equal to 0 so I guess the solutions will be I guess 1 and minus half so 1 is cos x equal to 1 and another is minus half so basically x is equal to 0 is one solution and uh, for minus pi I guess it will be 2 pi by 3 because our domain is restricted in the question right anyways so these are alpha 1 and alpha 2 guys these are alpha 1 comma alpha 2 so they had found uh, they had told us to find the value of 8 times sin square alpha 1 plus sin square alpha 2 so sin square 0 plus of sin square 2 pi by 3 so I guess this will come out to be 8 into 3 by 4 so final answer for this question will become 6 okay okay guys so let's proceed to the next question okay so guys moving on to the next question that you can see on screen like first thing that I will do is I will take a tan theta common from tan theta and tan cube theta and I will move this 1 minus tan square theta to the right hand side so basically if we like shift this a little bit this will become tan theta by 1 minus tan square theta is equal to your like 1 by 1 plus tan square theta which is secant square theta now guys one thing that I hope you can identify that what we can do is if we multiply both sides with 2 
then actually this is coming out to be really standard okay like this thing is actually becoming tan 2 theta on the left hand side and this is becoming 2 cosine square theta on the right hand side so basically this is tan 2 theta and what i will do is i will convert cos square theta into 1 minus sin square theta so actually that is the value that they have asked right so tan 2 theta plus 2 sin square theta this will come out to be equal to 2 okay so this was an easy question guys now let's move on to the next question okay so guys here is the next question and this question is an interesting one because it is based on properties of triangles okay i don't know how many of you have done properties of triangles properly but you should because it's an important chapter okay at least if you don't want to do the sums at least just remember the formulas okay just by heart them and go to the exam because people have a habit of giving these in questions that they are not intended to be present anyways this is a multiple correct question so we will uh, analyze option wise so guys first option is your it is given as sine a is to sine b is to sine c equals to 3 is to 2 is to 5 uh, okay so in the first option guys it is given sine capital a is to sine capital b is to sine capital c is 3 is to 2 is to 5 now i hope all of you know sine rule which is the small a by sine a is equal to small b by sine b is equal to small c by sine c. Basically, uh, your meaning of this thing is if the ratio of capital uh, sine capital A, capital B and capital C is this, then the ratio of small a, small b, small c, that is the side lengths will be also the same. So it is also 3 is to 2 is to 5. Now problem is that you have learnt in your like in a very small age, you have learnt a very famous thing called inequality of triangles which says that the sum of any two sides will always be greater than the third side but it is here it is the scenario is that a plus b is becoming equal to c so because of this thing guys the triangle is not possible at all so option a is wrong okay okay moving on to option number b uh, okay it says delta is equal to bc by a delta is basically nothing but your area of the triangle okay so they are saying that the area of the triangle is equal to BC by 8. So we know that because it's given BC by 8, let's do one thing. I'm writing the area as half BC sin A. Okay. I'm not going into this explanation, guys. This is all formula included in properties of triangles. If you don't still know it, then please do it. So I have written purposely, I have written BC because BC is present here also. So BC, BC getting cancelled, your sin A will become equal to 1 by 4. Now, our job is actually to find out whether this thing is possible or not. So, if sine A is uh, 1 by 4, then I guess everything is satisfied. Yeah, sine A obviously can be 1 by 4 for some angle. So, I hope option B will be correct. Okay, now moving on to the next option, guys, which is option number C. Okay, so guys, uh, in option number C, I just put the question in front of you so that you can see. So basically, it is nothing but A plus B, uh, I, I would say A plus C plus B into A plus C minus B. So guys, if you like do A square minus B square there, then you can actually expand this as 4 capital R square sin square B minus 4 capital R square sin square C. And obviously, the RHS is 3AC. So AC you can write it as 2 capital R square sin A. Or rather, I'm sorry, not AC. Actually, you can write 3 AC only as 2 capital R square sin A, okay? I'm not going at all into the explanation, guys. If you want an explanation into solutions of triangles, maybe I will make a separate video for this. I can make a chapter-wise video. Like, I'm already working on something, but I can make a chapter-wise video quickly for solutions of triangles because this is extremely important, okay? And explaining this will take a lot of time, like it will take almost the complete video's time up till now to explain why all this is coming. If you don't know it, that's why I'm not going into it. If you don't know it, then just read the theory. It's nothing else, okay? Just lack of knowledge that you have. Anyways. So guys, I can actually take 4 capital R square common from here, I guess. So this will be sine square B into sine sin square B minus sine square C. Okay, so your 4... Like R square and R square are obviously getting cancelled and for 2 cancels 4 with 2. So this is basically sine B plus C into sine B minus C, right? Sine square B minus sine square C. And this thing is equal to half sine A. 
ओके सो नाउ वी वर लाइक सपोज टू लुक फॉर पॉसिबिलिटीज आई गेस सो साइन बी प्लस साइन सी इंटू साइन बी माइनस साइन सी इज इक्वल टू हाफ साइन ए ओके सो गाइज आई एक्चुअली केम अप विद अ बेटर मेथड टू सॉल्व दिस बिकॉज आई गेस दिस वॉज बिकमिंग अ बिट कन्फ्यूजिंग सो आई एम री राइटिंग बेसिकली वॉट वी विल डू इज दिस इज ए प्लस बी प्लस सी इन टू ए प्लस सी माइनस बी इक्वल्स टू योर थ्री ए सी सो इफ वी मैनिपुलेट दिस लाइक इफ वी मल डू द मल्टीप्लीकेशन स्टफ एंड ऑल देन दिस विल बी ए स्क्वेर प्लस टू ए सी प्लस बी स्क्वेर ओके नॉट बी स्क्वेर प्लस सी स्क्वेर माइनस बी स्क्वेर इक्वल्स थ्री ए सी सो इफ वी सब्ट्रैक्ट योर थ्री ए सी फ्रॉम बोथ साइड और अदर इफ वी ब्रिंग थ्री ए सी टू दिस साइड देन दिस इज ए स्क्वेर प्लस सी स्क्वेर माइनस बी स्क्वेर एंड माइनस ए सी इज इक्वल टू जीरो और ए स्क्वेर प्लस सी स्क्वेर माइनस बी स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू ए सी ओके ओके नाउ आई होप एवरी वन ऑफ यू नोज लॉ ऑफ को साइंस वेर योर बी स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू ए स्क्वेर प्लस सी स्क्वेर माइनस ऑफ टू ए सी को साइन बी दिस इज लॉ ऑफ को साइंस ओके सो इफ वी रीअरेंज दिस एक्चुअली दिस विल गिव अस टू ए सी को साइन बी equivalent to this left hand side so i can actually if we compare with that this will become equal to the right hand side ac okay i jump that step please note okay so ac ac are getting cancelled that means cos b is equal to half or b is equal to 60 degree so if b is 60 degree yes it's very much possible if b was something else maybe negative or something then we would have rejected this answer but yes it is very much possible so guys i hope option number c is also correct okay so let's move on to option number d okay so guys proceeding with the next option actually the last option that i wrote it was actually like the things i wrote in the starting they were actually for this option okay i am writing from my copy actually where i solved so that was a mistake anyways so i will just rewrite that it's actually this it will fit into this option okay exactly everything 4r square times sin square b minus sin square c is equal to 2 capital r square sin a okay and guys i am not going into explaining all this because if i go into explain all this i hope you can understand this will take about like it's i guess 17 minutes of the video right it will take exactly 17 minutes or maybe more than that to explain all this so i am considering that all of you know your properties of triangles well anyways so this is your sin b plus c into sin of b minus c equals to i guess half sin a okay so guys here i will write this thing as your 180 minus a so for that this and this will get cancelled and sin b minus c is equal to half so i guess b minus c Uh, okay sin b minus c is half so basically this will come out to be 30 degrees uh yeah b minus c being 30 degrees and the ratio is i guess 3 is to 2 is to 5 right yeah i guess it's possible it is possible so i guess option number d is also correct okay so guys the correct options for this question will be b c and d okay and guys i would like there would be lot of questions maybe coming to your mind if you haven't studied your obviously properties of triangles so if you haven't studied that i would recommend do study it once and then all of this will be crystal clear okay this is nothing complex uh, properties of triangles contain a lot of difficult questions this is the simplest one okay it is just direct formula stuff and nothing else it's really simple so if you don't know the theory then please refer to it once okay anyways so guys i hope this will be the end for today's video because we have completed five questions so i will bring out the like i will do five five in each video and complete the paper obviously so that's it for today guys if you have liked my channel do like share and subscribe any doubts or anything do come out in the comment section and also do join my telegram discussion chat for solutions to your problems and to contact with people who are also preparing for the same So that's it for today guys hope you have enjoyed this video and thanks for watching